Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to do a cucumber salad uh, that you won't be tasting all night long, if you know what I mean. A lot of people can't eat cucumbers because they, they taste them all night, you know. Uh, I'm one of them. If I eat a cucumber, man, it just keeps coming back up uh, all night long. So uh, this, this method right here, you won't have a problem with cucumbers. If you have somebody coming over to the house for the holidays and they, uh, they don't do cucumbers because of that reason, try it this way. All right, peel them. Then with your peeler, with the opposite end of the peeler, uh, take the seeds out just like this. Look. It, it's nothing to it. Just pull the seeds out, scrape them out. That's it. Now all you have left now is just the meat from the cucumbers. Uh, it took me quite a while to figure out this method here to so I didn't keep tasting cucumbers all night long. But I'll tell you what, it really works. You know, I love cucumbers, but I just can't eat them. But this way I can. Okay, so... There you go. Now you have all the seeds out of the cucumber. Uh, now with this salad, we're going to also add a tomato into it. Now what I have is I've got a, a big cup of water boiling in the microwave. All right. Now you take your tomato and make an X. Don't cut very deep. Just cut just a, you know, a sixteenth of an inch of the skin. You cut an X in the tomato. Okay, then you're going to drop it into the boiling water. Now, if you're doing a bunch of tomatoes, you can do it on a stove in a pot. You know, I'm just doing one tomato, so I didn't, I didn't uh, heat up the whole stove because of one tomato. I just boiled this water in the microwave. All right, throw the tomato in. You don't want to cook it. You just want to get the skin so it releases from the tomato. Now, watch. Watch this. It just peels right off. Look at that. Okay, I mean, I'm only doing this because, you know, it just makes it a little bit fancier of a salad, you know, if you take the skin off the tomato, you know what I mean? It's not as rugged as, you know, if you keep the tomato, uh, the skin on. You know, it's just a one little nice touch, you know. All right, so anyway, peel the tomato off, peel the skin off. And then we're going to chop everything up. We're going to put it in a bowl. We're going to add some stuff to it. And um, let it marinate for a couple hours. And, it's man, it's very good. It's a really good salad. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to cut the cucumber in, you know, long strips the lengthwise. You want the cucumber and the and the tomato about the same size when you cut it up. So, you know, we're going to dice the cucumbers and we're going to dice the tomatoes, but we're going to try to get them about the same size. The onion is going to be smaller. Uh, actually, the onion and the green pepper is going to be a little bit smaller than the than the cucumber and the tomato. Um, okay, there we go. Now the tomato. Now if you really want to get fancy, you can take the seeds out and the pulp out of the tomato. But, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody here. So I'm going to keep the, the seeds and the pulp in the tomato. Just cut it. With, like I say, you want to get it about the same size as the cucumber. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more onion. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I'm adding onion, yes. And I chopped the onion small. Uh, you want those smaller than the cucumber and the tomato. All right, there goes uh, black pepper. Uh, I'm going to add some garlic, uh, granulated garlic. Now, that's not garlic powder. That's granulated garlic. I don't like garlic powder. It's, it's kind of weird. Look for granulated garlic. There's a difference. Um, okay, what's this? There goes some salt. All right, now we're going to add uh, malt vinegar. There you go, malt vinegar. It's basically an oil and vinegar dressing that goes on it. 
you could take Italian dressing and put it on there if you want. You know, it's, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I basically make my own dressing because it's, you know, it's one, two, three, boom, it's done. There's a little bit of burgundy. I'd say that's about two or three tablespoons of burgundy and olive oil. Eh, a little more. There you go. Okay. Now, you could put um, oregano. Uh, you know, you, 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 it's up to you what you want to season it with, you know. Like I say, it's basically uh, vinegar and oil. So whatever you want to put in there, that's uh, totally up to you. Uh, lemon juice is good. Uh, here's some chives from the greenhouse. I'm going to chop up some chives. Give it a nice color. Okay, this stuff is really good with a, uh, uh, you know, toasted homemade um, breadsticks or, or uh, cheese bread or garlic bread or anything like that. You know, um, the green peppers, I like to chop small. You get more flavor out of them when they're small. All right, listen, have fun with this one. And listen, I got to tell you, you might be able to find this somewhere else just as good. But you won't find it any better than this. I'm going to eat.